The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Dow Industrials up 234. We get the Nasdaq up 70. S&P's up 30. Gold contract up $13.30 at 1293 an ounce. You get silver up 29 cents, $15.59. They both caught a big bid out here. Um, copper. Copper also got the bid up five and a half pennies, 270 a pound. Light sweet crude up 28 cents. $53.41 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note down eight ticks, 121.16. 30 year bond off 18 at 145.07. And King Dollar. <laughs> it's hard to comprehend, man. King Dollar. They've been battling over this 95.830 mark, folks, since October 24th. It goes over it yesterday. It has the volume. Guess what? Fails out here today. Down 577. Not that uh, I'm elated it's failing, but <laughs> pretty wild, man. 95.7. 20. You have the euro trading at 113.81 to 1 US dollar. The yen is out here at 109.65. And the pound, look at that pound, 131.28. That pound wants 132, folks. And I didn't think it was going to get to 132 this quick. I, I, my game, the aim was for 132, but let me tell you something. That means it got to 132 in a week. That means Brexit ain't happening, man. Yeah, because we were 126.50. Yeah, just right? above 126 coming into that vote for May last week. Pretty amazing. It is. Let's go over and take a look at that gold contract. Well, let's do that. look at the dollar first. So DXH9, and what you're going to see out here, it looks like it's going to be a failure on a weekly, too. What's going to be a little twisted here, we'll see how this shakes out. Yeah, well, you know what? No, we're, get, we're gonna get the volume too. Okay, so watch us. This is this is a, a, a tough. It's it's not a tough one now because we're gonna get the volume today too. But this is what you had yesterday. So yesterday you go up on thirty-three thousand contracts, right? Well, you can make the case that yeah, you're going into thirty-one. Okay. Now what's gonna happen is that we're gonna do another thirty thousand today because we're at sixteen thousand. We normally okay. start the show we're like at eight thousand. Okay. So bottom line is that it looks like you're gonna have a failure on a weekly also and we'll see you this time uh, if in fact um, the baby wants to uh, stay under this uh, 95830 number because that 95830 number it, they've been battling over this uh, for so long man it's, it's amazing it is back and forth man yeah I mean look at this thing so if we pull this up what you're gonna see and of course when you fail on a weekly it's you know more bearish so and especially because you went over it, so pretty wild. Now that's a daily, though, right? That's a daily. Okay. Right, right. But I'm just saying, yeah. we'll see at the end of the end of I today. Because it's Friday. It totally. looks like it looks like we're gonna basically go south. Let's go to uh, Mark in Massachusetts. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Wow! 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 No, I'm, I'm ready to. Like I, I, I don't know what to do. I mean, it's like I don't know what to do. I mean, made ten grand at the open, so. Right. So Mark called a couple days ago, too, folks, <laughs> and it, we were talking about Nugget. Uh, I just, hey, listen, man, I'd stay right there. Bottom line, you yeah. know, it, it, we, we're talking about the Nugget, folks. And first off, the Nugget is the daily, the direction daily gold mine is three times bull position of the Acker Gold Index, which is the HUI. So, you know, when we take a look at this, what, you, what you're looking at is that, you caught a bid out here, and so you're 2.8 million right now trading. The market just opened. Yeah, let's stay right there, man. Your highs get 12 million. This is going to be a, a, a big day out here. Now, I don't expect it to go for these highs out here today, but I think we get action. Um, you know, you know, if you're listening to uh, Larry Pesavento earlier, folks, okay, GCG9, one of the, if you're into Fibonacci sequences, one of the big deals has to do with how do you have a retracement, no, how does the retracement pull back versus how you've been going up. Now, if, if you just take a look at this, what you're going to see is that the straight line move, I'm not even taking the bottom that was, this is the gold contract now, I'm not even taking the bottom that was generated out here on November 13th, I'm just taking the next leg, which is as straight as you can get from December 14th. Well, 
it took two weeks, and we only did a 0.382 retracement. So that's very bullish, you know, in the context of a Fibonacci retracement expansion. And the way this is trading right now, we've done 167,000 contracts. This means we're going to do 300,000 contracts. This probably is an ABC up. And if it's an ABC up, guess what? You get monster action. And that's with, uh, you know, the, the dollar, you know, as Tommy and I were just talking about, you know, the dollar flipped over that 95, um, uh, 830 yesterday with conviction, and gold still didn't get smoked. Yeah. You know, so that's pretty impressive in itself. It's quite a move yesterday, down and up in that dollar. Yeah. So. Thank you, Tom. I, I, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm. The other position I got is SLV. So you get SLV. That wants to go too. You know, the, the, the differential here is that having both of them, right? Um, I would peel off SLV. Okay. Um, you know that way. Because what's happened in the silver market, folks, okay, silver's got a great pop out here today. Let me just see. But the silver market is so volatile, man. I can see, you know, so let's see. So, yeah, silver's up 2% today. Where, you know, well, gold's up 1%. 1 you can see the difference, you know. But I'd, I'd, pop, I'd pop that baby off because you, you're going to make plenty of bread on the air and your GT. But then you're going to have plenty of bread to bring your, your wife and your kids out to the Four Seasons tonight. So. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to Baltimore and uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna end up in Washington and then Pennsylvania. Oh, sweet! You better stay oh, warm. Oh, it's gonna be cold up there. Next week. Time no, to get I, it. It, Hey, listen, it's freezing it, down here this morning. It's 55 degrees this morning. No, it's like freezing. Yeah, I love it up here though. Yeah, you're at the top of the mountain, man. Got it, buddy. I like it. Okay, man. Well, uh, listen. Oh, look, look at this. Hey, Ed, Mark, as you're on the phone, this this contract yep. today, folks, really can get some juice. We're at 14, up 14 bucks right now. If this thing gets you know, a little runaway, um, this could get really intriguing in, in the gold market. Because we haven't seen gold, you know, move in a texture of like $20, $25 in years. But yeah, it, I want it to go above 1303. I mean, 13 is the number, man. You go, here, watch this. My take on this, on when I say a longer basis, I'm talking about this year, is that what we're going to see, folks, is that gold wants to take out this whole consolidation. And if, in fact, we take out this consolidation, the consolidation I'm talking about, let me pull this up, is that, okay, I put that right there. We've been in this consolidation now, I think, for six years or seven years. Six years. Yeah, six years. So the top of the consolidation in the gold market, folks, 1377. We take that out, we're going for all-time highs. But if we're going for all-time highs, if you want to say, hey, something really wild, then what is on the table is uh, a monster ABC up. Because if you take the, the lows to the highs, what we did is we did a 50% retracement from when the market started at 252 and, 2000, and 2001. We, we get up to 19, you know, 20. We do a 50% retracement and we've had plenty of time. You know, this is, that's not outrageous that, you know, you can do an ABC up. Sure. Yeah. Okay, 2112 then, there we go. I like it. Cooking brother. Right, Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We get the Dow up 262. NASDAQ's up 72. S&P's up uh, 32. Come right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 270, Nasdaq's up 69, S&Ps are up 32. I want to get over and take a look at uh, Intel here. So, you know, yeah. you had all the chips lead higher yesterday. Um, Intel, you know, was up good. Come up with numbers. Market smoked them. Now, it's intriguing here, folks. I was bringing this up last night um, on the program in the afternoon, is that what you still have here, folks, this is what's going to get interesting. Well, with the volume today, we might not have it. Uh, but you get a high volume high out here at 50. So it's going to get intriguing to see just how much Intel basically either goes down or goes up. My, my take is that we're going to go right back topside, you know, which would be really deviant. But it's like, okay, man, you know, you, you pushed into a lot. So the last high up here had 30 million. Yesterday, you pushed in with 50 million. And we'll see whether you get a total rejection of lower price out here today, which would just be pretty wild. Can you can we get into their earnings? Um, yeah. The the actual yeah. news of it, CN. Cause they missed. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So they cut their price targets and downgraded them after they fell short. Maybe this is going to be there. Yeah. Let's see if this is their earnings. I'm looking for the big numbers and no, so forth. No, yeah. So sales in the December quarter, 18.7 billion. Analyst estimate was 19. Net income, 5.2, or 112 a share. Analysts were looking for earnings of 117. Revenue in the current period will be about 16 billion, and profit, 81 cents a share. Um, Analysts are looking wow. at 96. Well, yeah. and they were looking at seven. Check that out. So they were looking at 17.3, and they came in at 16. at 16. Right. That's almost a. That's a big miss, man. Yeah. That's almost a 10% miss. Right. Um, for 2019, Intel predicted revenue of 71.5. Analyst estimate was 73. Again, missing by about 1.5 billion. 1.5 billion dollars less revenue that the. Um, so not to shake at. And I believe there's guidance in here as well, talking about it's not just last quarter, um, which, like you talked about, man, they, they shouldn't be facing that kind of trouble if chip makers are are, are crushing it on earnings. Um, yeah. Yesterday, look, they're competitors. Look, you know, look at, at Xilinx. Right. That's you know, it's like <laughs> look at Xilinx. I mean, that's, that's you can't blame the industry when your competitors are out there beating estimates right. and you're out there missing. Right. 
Let's go take a look at that silver market for a couple of our tigers out here. So you get silver right now. The actual contract is up by 2.5%. It's good move, man. I mean, that's that's the bottom line. And even if you mark, you're, you're out there. The, w the way that you should do that uh, SLV is just put a stop right under, like, five pennies right now because it might run all day long out here. Um, you get big volume. You're at the 45,000 contracts. You, you, what we have out here, which is pretty cool in both silver and gold, is that you get a high volume high. So we're going for it, man. Um, and what's intriguing here is that silver has already got to the lows of that high. So what is that low? Fifteen sixty-four. Cool. We're at fifteen sixty-six right yep, now. Yeah, right above. And you get the you get volume behind the move. Let me do this intraday. Yeah, straight line move. So you get action. Yeah. That's, that's the bottom line. Let me go. Let me do gold one more time because I want to see what gold is doing intraday here. This is a big move, man. And so you're up seventeen. You're at twelve ninety-six. Now watch what happens here, folks. This is going to be pretty amazing. Actually, it's still plenty. It's early in the morning, too, 1030. I'll tell you, what, what you're going to have here is that it looks like the, the low of that high of 1300 was 1278. Well, you can see we're at 1297. So your probability is pretty good that you're going to run there. And to run to that level on a Friday and have a battle, oh, baby, it's going to be fun. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, because if you break that, Especially on a Friday, folks. Do. So what happens is this. If we take a look at this, the reason that Fridays are so volatile and can be inside the metals market is that the pit closes at 1.30 in the afternoon. Now, what happens is that, yeah, you and I, electronic, you can still trade a lot of contracts, right? But the reality is that if you're the bank, which is the big traders on this, you're trading in the pit. If you're, okay. the, gold, if you're the Newmont and all, you're trading in the pit. You, you, you have someone down there, do you know what I mean? Because they... they that's how, that's much bigger money, and on a so what happens is you close at 1:30, it doesn't open again. Okay, you can't trade big volumes of gold until Sunday night at eight o'clock, and Australia opens first, and that goes to Hong Kong, and that's so that's with like who's holding the bag? You know what I mean? Okay. Who's holding the bag overnight? So that's why you know you see this volatility on a Friday. So. There's, good, there's, there's action here, there's no doubt. And just to pull over as gold's moving, of course, you got the dollar index now at 95, I was going to say 95.6, 95.595. That's a, that's, oh, a, just that's a big number, huge, man. Right? So I like looking at these four of them where you got the dollar index, there's that pullback, yeah. we're now sitting 95.921. Um, Euro, 60% of that dollar index, of course, huge. taken off. You get the yen trading at 109.57, and how about that pound as well? Even in see, the, it's all it's all going. Even in, I believe these are five minute that just bars. Happened. That's what I was just going to say. Yeah, that 10 15, 10 20, five minute bars. So we just traded from 131.17 to 131.50. Um, huge move. Yeah, these minute, are these 10 are, minutes. We get a confluence of events, folks, uh, that are basically helping the metal market beyond belief. Because those are the three currencies right there. Yeah, that are the, the biggest weighting structures inside of the uh, dollar index yeah you know so you get action man we got action and no doubt and this is very early in the morning to have this type of action uh the s and p's you know if we go to the s and p's for a second now this is going to be cool watching this shakeout folks so that you're at 12 million shares right now that you're at 127 million at 266.98 now that was last friday's high it looks to me that we very well could get an ABC structure on the way up. You know, I don't think it's going to hit it today. Well, actually, it got pretty close, didn't it? No, no, to 266.98. I don't think we're going to go after it today. But if we take that out with volume, your price projection happens to be right over there at Wait, October 11th, the low of October 11th. Yeah, okay. 270. And that's a .618 retracement of the whole move down. And that, folks, would be about as deviant as you can get if, in fact, we're going back down, which I think we are. And so you're talking about from this high right here? That's correct. Cool. All the way down to the lows. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, 270. There you yeah. go. It's wild, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's just nice to see it's, it there. It's, li it's lining up, um, you know, really, when I say it's lining up really nice, what I mean is it's really lining up deviant. I love when markets line up really deviant, meaning because you get the, the, the bulls and the biz, they're both like, what's happening? What's happening? Sure. You know what I mean? Because that's when you get 
the larger moves in the marketplace. You know, just like, you know what this is like? This is just like what happened yesterday in the dollar. You know, this is a deviant for the metals market. The dollar goes topside beyond belief yesterday, has volume. It's like, okay, you're coming into a Friday. This metal market could have got killed. Well, guess what? Overnight, this thing is getting slammed. And now, which is so unusual, is to get another day just getting 30, 33,000, 35,000 contracts inside the dollar. And we happen to be going the opposite way. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's almost 800 ticks. Anytime we have an 800 oh. tick day, we get some volume, though. Seriously. So, oh, yeah. You no, know, no, that's no. for sure. Look at the pound. Pound, you know, clear sailing, man. One, 126.70. That was the, the vote. That was literally the vote. You know, 131, this thing is game up to 132, and the way it's moving probably goes a lot higher than that. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrial is up 269, Nasdaq's up 71, S&P's are up 33. We'll come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrial is up 267. You get the Nasdaq up uh, 72. S&Ps are up 32. Let's see, percentage-wise, where we're at here. So about 1% right across the board. Hey, that means you can go a lot higher than that. 1% is not a, a monster deal. In fact, uh, if we take a look at this, you get, let's see. So last night in Asia. You want to put everything on the dollar here? 
the um, so you had Asia up from what eight tenths of a percent to uh, Hang Seng was up one point five. Over in Europe, well, Spain's up two tenths of one percent. The DAX is up one and a half. Let's go take a look at the DAX out here. So. All the sectors seem to be doing well on that chart. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt, man. Oh, see, this is going to be cool now. Okay, this, you know what's going to be cool, folks? On Now, I won't get this volume. What happens is this. This is going to be great, see. We're going to get an idea if our S&P is going to do an ABC structure on the way up. Okay. Because the DAX right now is taking out the highs of last Friday. And what you can see... All, all the markets, folks, meaning all the world markets, had the same type of setup last Friday, which is really cool. You know, we went up with volume. You can see that spike. So if, in fact, 122 yes. million, yep. So if, in fact, this takes this out with volume, and so they close at like 1.30, 1 o'clock our time, I'll get it about, yeah, I'll have it by this afternoon when I get on, when I get on it. I might have it at three. Yeah, it's going to be close. But that's, you want to be looking at that. Because if it takes it out with volume, that has a much higher probability that we're in an ABC structure on the way up. Um, and uh, what you'll see is that you'll go after that uh, August 11th uh, time frame. Starbucks, you're looking at Starbucks. Yeah, I was checking out the story. They had earnings as well. They're trading up this morning, um, decent 4% or so. Yeah, and it's it's pretty amazing that, you know, you got... Let's see. Maybe right here. Is that where you're going to go, the earnings? Yeah. Yeah. So comp sales, always a big number, plus 4% when the estimate was plus 3. They come in with high expectations, man. Comp sales are plus 0.3%. Not 0.3, plus 3%. Adjusted earnings per share, check it out, 75 versus 65. Quite a beat. Uh, revenue, they beat by almost $100 million, That's even huge. more than that. Yeah, 6.6 .6 versus 6.49, talking about for 90 days. Decent margins, man, 17.4%. Yep. Um, and then the China, which is always a big story. First quarter, China, Asia, Pacific comp sales, plus three. Estimate is only plus 1.5. You start beating in China, man, right. that's what the market will love. Right. Because, man, that's that's a market that is just going to probably determine a lot of companies' futures, how you do. Um, look at that. America's operating margins, 22. Yep. I mean, we all know. Coffee does not take six dollars to produce on cost of goods sold, <laughs> sold right? So Seriously. they got some decent margins, man, and uh, the numbers reflect it. And uh, yeah, pretty wild. It is. Everyone's drinking their coffee. JBL. Not surprising. There was a story. Uh, JBL folks is um, stationed in, in St. Petersburg, where we are. Okay. And this is one of the largest uh, subcontractors. Like everything that we uh, basically almost buy. J Bill is the manufacturer of it. Like they have they device integration, circuit yeah. design, circuit boards. Yeah. Um, there's, there's circuit boards in almost everything. We just uh, talked about it, right? Everything, yeah. right? So when you when you look at this, so check this out. The the and you can see they 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 just continue to grow. Seventeen billion in 2015. This year they're looking to do twenty point uh, twenty five basically. Yeah. So the and the Tampa Bay Times this one in the business they had the CEO talking right about they're talking about the tariffs. He says, hey, listen, man, we got to deal with it, whatever we got to deal with, and it hasn't affected us yet because we just got to keep pumping it out. The thing that was amazing, though, what he's talking about, he said, we have to, he's saying we have to watch every penny. Do you know what their operating margin is? 3.2%. Okay. That's all, they, that's, that's, that's okay. what the story is about. He sure. says, listen, imagine being in a business like yeah. that, but that's how competitive it is. Right. That's, you know, because it's probably where they're, they're, Selling to other companies most of the time, yeah, they sell right? The Intel, so it's, so it's every, where like exactly. they have competitors in the market. They have the wholesale. Whereas yeah. when you're buying coffee, that's why you get a brand. Oh yeah, you're paying right. for Starbucks brand most right. of the time when you get in there. You pay right. for good coffee too, but um, you don't care if there's a J Bill logo on your circuit inside of your no. computer no. or who wherever can, who it is. Can, who can do the best job exactly at the least amount of money totally. and deliver? Right? Yeah, yeah. you know, pretty yeah. intense though. So. Could you, it says, Three percent, you man, you you better yeah. be the best operator in the world. You cannot make a mistake, man. You know, yes, that's, that's the real bottom line. Price to perfection. Yeah, big yeah. time, big time. The uh, let's go take a look at some of the other movers out here. So you had, you had the chip stocks up there yesterday. Um, How about line? PG and E? Uh, that one's rocking. Oh of course. yeah, here so we got oh, yeah. the news that they're not going to be basically liable yesterday for 2017. Yes, for the 2017. Right. Um, 
and then pulling back after after that jump yesterday. Right. Yeah. And it's going to be, you know, I was talking about this yesterday on, on the air. So the only part that they're not liable for is starting the fire. There's still seven suits for their transformers. Okay. As the fire went on. Okay. Okay. So, you know, that's gonna, this is going to be. I can't. I. It's going to be intriguing just watching the whole thing shake out. You know. And yeah. then of course you got Blue Mountain. Um, that. Is trying to get rid of the board because poor Blue Mountain uh, bought four million shares up at 48 right okay. before the down draft. It's a tough deal. Like, you, it is a tough deal. Yep. I mean, it's sad. Yeah. Bottom line is that, you know. Yep. Well, it's, uh, there's, there's yeah. going to be a, there's, there's a bulls and bears out here. That's what it comes down to. All right. Yeah. I mean, that. Um it's basically talking about everything that we talked about, I assume, right? In terms of the that it could still be on the table. They're dealing with a lot of woes here, still on top oh, of that. Big um, time, big time. So the Tubbs finding, and that's the one that right. represents a clear positive, but only somewhat impact the need for the company to seek a grand bargain um, outcome in resolving fire liabilities. As in, this is not over, right? We're right. already into January. We're coming into February. We're going to be talking about this for a few months. Before you oh. know it, it's going to be June, July, August, and um, hopefully we're not dealing with the same thing, but it's a real fear. Well, I think we're going to know quite a bit next week because the way that this is set up right now, they gave the 15 days, and I believe the clock is, uh, yeah, there it is, January 29th. That's the, that's the day they can file legally. Yes. You know, so we'll see whether they file. Because yeah. if they if they don't file on the 29th, well, then then this market is going to really be rocking. Do you know what I mean? Then yeah. the bulls and bears are really going to fight it out. You know, so yeah. And you know, they have a bunch of analysts out here. Some of them saying that listen, you know, with our estimates, the total wildfire liabilities of 17 billion, we don't view that as basically being that they're going to you know jump ship for their bankruptcy at this point. But we'll see what happens, man. Right. No, no yeah. doubt because you get. Their market cap is what six billion. Yes. They only take in, I think, seventeen billion a year in capital. Yeah. There you go. So. Yeah. Yeah. I just, it's just gonna. Oh, hey, I know what we can do. I want to see this for a second. We want to see more than, because you know where this comes down to, also, folks, is that I suspect inside a utility, you're not going to have. Uh, Oh, 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 no, this is interesting. So it gets interesting. That's what I wanted to see. This this is saying that the the chief executive, right? Is yes. that that's saying he owns 65,000 shares? Yes. Market value of about 523,000 today. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm reading it wrong. Okay. Not 65 million shares. Yeah, that's right. It's usually in the millions when you look at those ownership right, positions. Right. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you'd like to be the bank, and get the type of interest they receive. Instead of the low interest rates they give to clients, then I have an investment you may want to take a look at. I'm offering four-year secured first mortgages on billable city lots in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment can be anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000 per billable city lot. The interest paid is 7% per year, paid monthly. Depending on the investment, the income per month per lot ranged from $175 for a $30,000 investment to $437.50 for a $75,000 investment. If you are in the CD market, you want to look at this investment. St. Petersburg is located in Pinellas County, which is the densest county in Florida. If you're looking for an investment with your principal intact that pays a good interest rate, this may be for you. The supply is limited, so act now. For more information on these secured first mortgage opportunities, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, well, you get LaGuardia. Um, I don't know. We, I'm I believe they halted some flights, right? Yeah. To deal with the TSA um, absence and, you know, um, missing some employees and, 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 you know, the effects of that kind of um, trickling into air travel. Right. And yeah. I, so, and I have LaGuardia. So, the, still the most traveled route, folks, in the whole country is Boston, LaGuardia, Washington, D.C. Those are the shuttles, and I think I saw some a little bit earlier, and it, it, that's because they, it's, you know, every hour, all, that, sure. they, they do those like taxi cabs, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, so we'll see, and of course, what, what does happen on a Friday is that you have everyone um, basically snowbirds going back and forth to Florida, too, so Friday's always a big day. And I just, you know people on different sides of the political aisle, you can shake this story off. But here's the real fact, right? You, you make a judgment of how many employees you need to keep everybody safe as TSA. Right. You normally have 2 to 3% sick. You have, whether it's 7.6 yesterday, 10% is the number it's spiking to. Right. Um, there's no argument to be made that those people aren't meaningful in the application of the security at the airlines. So, you know, if they could function properly with less employees, they would. Right. But they can't, which is why they have the amount of employees they have. So you don't have that many employees. There's a real-life effect of that. So you can shake it off. You can say that, oh, it's a non-story because it's only talking about a 42-minute wait. But guess what, folks? When you have huge lines, you have less employees, you're dealing with rushed airports. And that's Atlanta. Right? Yeah, this yeah, is just, right, you know, right. standard stuff of what, you know, is being talked about in terms of, ah, it's a story getting made out of nothing. You know, they're just, that's New York trying to... Trying to chastise the president, they're just dealing with some delays. No, I challenge you on that kind of... Um, uh, FAA cancels halt the flight taking off for LaGuardia. There we go. So it's going back and forth, and I'm sure you'll see that throughout the day. Day 35 of the shutdown. Real effects, people, you know? And I, you might think that things are, are still working properly, but uh, these people are important, and there's a reason why you have that many employees on the staff, and it's not something where you can just lose people and there's no effect. Oh, yeah. That's... Glad I'm not flying, man. I that's that's the bottom line. Oh, this is going to be wild. Hey, look, watch this, folks. Okay, 300 so positive. We're here we 300, go. 300, but also, you know what's going to happen here? We take, we, we, we're getting over last Friday's high. So here, let's go see this right now. Uh, the 18th. 18th. Yes. So now, yep. MVOL. Any. Okay, so 18th. Oh, this is going to be easy to do. Well, we'll see. Okay, so you need, if you get over a, a billion fifty-five thousand shares, it's an ABC structure on the way up. Let me do the diamonds and see what I got with the diamonds. The diamonds right now they did. Uh, it's gonna be. It, you can do it. Five point three million. We did. We're at one point four right now. It'll be a close call. Oh, one second. Is that right? Yeah, five point. So. 
This is gonna be absolutely so deviant, it's gonna be unbelievable. It's gonna be pretty cool watching this thing shake out. So you're gonna get you're gonna get the answer today, folks, inside the Dow Industrials. If we do more than 5.39 million, you get an ABC structure on the way up. Your A point on the diamonds is what 216. Let's call it 217, because it's 216, 217. Your B is look at that, 247. 30 bucks, right? Your C is 242, which you get 272. Ooh, 272. 272 gets you over the highs in the Dow. Oh, hold it. No, no. I, I see what I did. I went down to the very bottom. I, you have to, I want to take it from here. Two, two, 226. That's the straight line. 226, 247. So 21 bucks, right? Still uh, 42, 50, 62, 63. That's still, that's still up. For the, now that gets you into the bar from the 10th. Yeah. That'll almost be a 100% move of a move. Wow. Action, and we got you got window dressing coming in. We got plenty more earnings coming in. Next week's the big week, man. It is the big week. Why don't week. we jump through? Can we pull up some of those days yeah. again? I mean, so, I think we got Apple, Google, Apple, right? Amazon. I think Amazon's we'll the have to 30th. Write down a list the 30th is the big one. Amazon's the 31st. And let's just get what, what day is the 31st to keep in. Okay, so that's Thursday. That's Thursday. Okay. Go for it. Then we have uh, Facebook, I think, is the 30th. Not ah, the, they're not that important. I know. No, they really, they, 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 they almost aren't. I mean, it's kind of they're interesting, They're still, right? I mean, what, what well, are they? They're, they're a huge company. They, but, they yeah, are. but they can I, do I can, an ABC up, too. And their earnings, realistically, they're yeah. actually probably going to be one of the most important ones because they can reveal kind of what's happening as to yeah. there's a lot going on there. And the number they're looking for, they're looking to take in $16.4 billion, and they're looking to hit two nineteen. dollars Okay. Jeez. Look, look at this, folks. This is impressive. They only took in $17.9 billion in 2015. Yep. Now they're saying in 90 days they're going to take in yep. $16.4 billion. You get uh, Google. That's the okay, fourth. The following week. We got... Uh, How about Microsoft? Yep. Yeah, I, I think that's they are. the 30th also. Yep. 30th. Wednesday after the market. Yeah. And... Good old Microsoft, man. Strong. Oh, it is. Man. Yeah. One of for the strongest stocks out there for sure. Yeah. Let's see how much, just see how much Bill Gates is still into this for. <laughs> He'd always be up the top, but let's see where he is now. There, there he is. is, number seven. So he still has 101 million shares. <laughs> 103 million, right? Yeah, 103 million. Isn't that crazy? It is. And 103 million of, let's just call it a $100 stock. The $7 yeah. has just changed, right? So you add two zeros onto that. The first zero is one billion. The second zero is ten billion. <laughs> Not a bad position to maintaining. When um, now, there's, if if Gates had just kept his wealth in Microsoft, he would be the richest man still, you yes. know, by by a long yeah. um, majority. But of course, he he peaked. Uh, not to say peaked, but had his peak as in he started his plan to you know divest that they have the bill and melinda gates foundation right. of course where a majority of that money that he's taken out of microsoft which he's done great things with um yeah he yeah. sells shares every single day yeah and, and he, he got, well not every day yeah. right but he's I, got a plan out there yeah but, on the regular right i don't think it's every single day that they're playing maybe it is we'll it's get been it. going on i just years. think it's a strategic yeah. well yeah maybe it's monthly it's yeah. they're 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 out there for sure 877-927-6648 let's go take a look at that gdx because that's got some action too. So the GDX right now, you get nine million. You're doing nine million. Nine sixes of forty-five. Yeah, this is it's good volume, but I I want that volume to stay up like that. You know, the GDX is saying it wants to go to the highs also. That high out there is a uh, twenty-one fifty-four. How about Apple? Do we pull up Apple? Yeah, yeah that's right. When's Apple? That's, uh, Apple's just, coming out twenty-nine. There we go. Tuesday, four thirty. Yeah. Um, and they're getting quite a little pop today. They got, uh, I saw one upgrade talking about, I forget, maybe it was Morgan Stanley, maybe it was Goldman. Uh, there it is, Morgan Stanley. Buy Apple now before the earnings next week because, and I can kind of complete it, I haven't even clicked on it, because the bad news is already out there, I think is what they're going to be saying. Okay. Uh, this is going to be CNBC, but I'm, I'm guessing that's the headline. Let's see if it loads. Bad news is already in the stock. There you go, I could finish that headline. I mean, not that I know that that's what's happening. I know that that's the only case you could be making. Yeah. Right, you know, in terms of like, why are you buying ahead of earnings? You're buying ahead of earnings because you think, you know, the expectation's already out there. Bad news is already out there. The stock's been pretty punished. Can't argue with that. Right. Um, and uh, so they're making that case. I want to find this uh, at the 
There was a flash crash last night, folks, in Singapore. I gotta find this article for you because it's pretty intense, man. Okay. The stock went like from fifty dollars to five dollars and went back to fifty. Uh, it was a metals company. Tommy and I come right back, folks. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. And folks, if you want to see why you never should put a market order in, uh, well, over in Singapore, yesterday, uh, bottom line is that uh, Jardine uh, Mathiasen, which yeah, is a... Jardine Matheson, I believe. Yes, which is a um, uh, metals company, uh, bottom line had a $41 billion flash crash. And uh, the stock, if we, I'll take a look. At, sure. This is a real tick, folks, <laughs> if you happen to be watching it. The stock at the open went from $66.98 down to $10.99. And can we just go down? Because you can really see how it was just a brief moment yep. there, man, of uh, right and, at the open and, and then right back up. And what ended up happening is that the the people that actually got burnt on this, too, were professionals, which is pretty wild. Um, Morgan Stanley's asking to cancel those trades. Good luck. And yeah. Goldman, yeah. yeah. And, yeah, and Goldman they, in the exchange is saying no. Yep. So um, they asked some of the Colorado parties to cancel or amend trades in Jardine Madison Holdings right. after $41 billion flash crash Thursday. So shares changed hands far below market value. Um, some of the amended requests were to settle the trades at a higher price. It wasn't clear whether the at market sell orders from Goldman and Morgan triggered that or whether other factors pre open auction were at play. Um, but nonetheless, uh, to get down to the story, three market makers had their sell orders matched at the day's low. 
also uh, asking not to be named, of course, more, more than a dozen coder parties snapped up the cheaper shares. Um, and then you have down here, Singapore Exchange decided not to cancel the trade. Sellers had, quote, ample time to withdraw their orders if they didn't want the, to offload the shares at the low price. Uh, SGX said after reviewing the incident, the exchange attributed the decline to sell orders that overwhelmed the bids during the pre-open for which neither a fat finger nor malfunctioning computer system were responsible. So they're basically saying, listen, market operated like it was supposed to. You had orders in there. Yeah. All the orders got taken up. Your order said, get me out at the exact and price. And, and guess what? That's how markets work. Good for them for saying it, man. You know, wow. that's why you don't use those market orders. Totally. Stay right there, folks. We get the uh, fast market coming up next. Then we get our man, Basil Chapman, Steve Oates, Dave White. Be back this afternoon. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get them, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters.